what has been gathering on my spirit over the course of the week is demolition witchcraft activities I want us to because I discovered that in the recent time um, witchcraft is as a matter of fact it is more in Europe than in any other place that you may think but Europe looks cool Anywhere you see coldness towards the things of God, what old sway there is witchcraft. Witchcraft is control of the things of God, confrontation of the things of God. To keep it mum or muted. Or to keep it at a minimal level. Eventually, witchcraft is about manipulation. The most basic oppression of Satan is witchcraft. Is the most basic, is the lowest, but is the most stubborn. Is the most stubborn. Reason being, it operates through familiar spirit. In other words, it operates through what is familiar to you. You know, when Paul was talking about we do not wrestle against flesh and blood in Ephesians chapter 6, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. He has just talked about the four cadres of demonic powers. You know? We are, how the devil, how Satan has uh, arranged his, um, the, the hierarchy. Just like we are, you know, in handling the things of God. You've got to understand there are angels, there are cherubims, there are seraphims, there are archangels. Alright? And there are guardian angels. There are ministering angels. There are different levels of angels. There are angels that can be detained, like in the book of Daniel. There are angels that nobody can ever detain. Like the one, the cherubim, came and stood at the Garden of Eden with flaming sword. Even Satan cannot go there. He doesn't go to where there is fire. He hates fire, anything fire. He wants to turn it to water. So I want you to really listen to me today because a number of us that I've been praying for, that I've been concerned about, I've been under some, not just demonic activities, but witchcraft activities over the course of the month. And you need to understand what we are dealing with so that you can deal with it. Like I told you, that the most basic oppression of Satan, that is going to be a ripple effect of this tonight, except you engage in effective prayers. Devil, Satan ate one place he ate. Is atmosphere of prayers. It can't stand it. That's the reason why you see that people will rather go to a place of thanksgiving worship and praises than to go to the place of prayers. Read prayers. Engaging prayers. Alright. Okay, because Satan ate the place of prayers. Now, I told you that the most basic but also the most stubborn of demonic oppression is witchcraft. It's the most basic because principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places, they, can, they do not have authority to enter the earth realm. They can stay in the atmosphere, but they cannot enter the earth realm. So the only way through which they operate is through familiar spirit that has to do with uh, activities, act activities undertaken among humans by humans. So it is familiar spirit that fuel witchcraft. And witchcraft is about control 
and confrontation and control and confrontation equal manipulation. And what does witchcraft control? What does he confront? What does he manipulate? Because what Satan himself cannot directly accomplish is control, we call them maneuvers. You know, is control, is confrontations, which we all call manipulation, may accomplish it. The first thing the devil does in a place, and I'll show you examples in the Bible, is to confront. He confronts, and what does he confront? He confronts any activity, any operation, any plan, any purpose that has to do with the one and only and the real and living God. As a matter of fact, you won't even know that witchcraft activities exist in your life. Sometimes, until when you come in contact with the one and the living God. There are many of us that um, could have witchcraft activity hotspots or ops as friends, sometimes as bosses, sometimes as spouses. I can tell you a Christian can even be married to a witch. I, I remember, I want you to really listen to me today. I want you to really listen to me today. And I will tell you how the litmus test of whether somebody around you is a, there are two kinds of witches. There are witches who know that they are witches. And they work as witches. They know. They are not hiding. All right, they, they know it. You know, there are for that one, there are two kinds also. There are those who come out, there are those who are hidden, they hide, they are active because they know that if people know them. Now, the second aspect is that there are witches who have only been networked by witchcraft activities, and they have witchcraft activities manifesting in their lives, and they do not know. But they just know that uh, things are not going well the way they're supposed to go. Things don't work well the way they're supposed to work. And they don't know. Archbishop Duncan William was talking about a particular prophet. He was even a prophet. Who married a witch. How? Uh, this prophet was, um, was into power. And so many other things. And he sees so many things. But this guy was so clever. When the Bible talks about Satan being clever, that the most subtle of all the animals is Satan, he manifests this thing mostly through witchcraft activities and oppressions. And this guy wiggled away through everything in the church that he could not be, discover, could not be discovered until after marrying the prophet. The night after the consummated marriage, how many of you watch it when I shared it sometime? Uh -huh. The night after they consummated the marriage, then the witchcraft, you know, the witch said, welcome, prophet, prophet. We are now the same now. Same, same. He said, what do you mean? He said, I'm a witch. They're covered here. Archbishop Duncan William said it. The day, many years, the first marriage that I had, I was not married to a witch, but I was married to somebody who was network under witchcraft radar. I will explain to you. Before we got married, I discovered that as I was praying about her, I would see that she would run inside water. I would run there, I would take her out and fling her out. Everybody warned me. But the girl was beautiful and has taken so much money from me in Lagos. And I wanted to sow 
that I was a prophet of God. As a matter of fact, I had an inkling that there was something. So I told some of my friends. I said, they say, this girl, you are not sure, you sure Pastor David is not a witch. The way everything is going. I said, I can marry a witch. When she comes under my house, the witchcraft, I believed it that time. That after I marry you, when you come to my house, the witchcraft will move off. I didn't know that you can only deliver a witch that you are not married to. You can't deliver a witch you are married to. It's somebody else that can help you. You can't deliver the, because you are consummating marriage together. She didn't know. She was a born again Christian but under certain let me explain to you. Let me explain a number of things to you so that you won't think Pastor David is saying something. The mother came to my house one day. Don't forget the mother, mother was not involved when we were getting married because in Igbo culture where they came from, the data Igbo, uh, she went to marry somebody so they have given my late wife of Melissa's memory, the father that they have given her him back the dowry according to their tradition. And she has gone. And because she has gone, she cannot be part of anything that has to do with the marriage. I went to their village. They took me to their village. They took me everywhere. That's where I told you that my father's driver that drove us to their village. That's why anything that has to do with village, you can't take me there. I can't be part of When you come back to the city, I'll see you. Say, I want to go and pay my daughter. When you come back to the church, I see you. My father's driver. I want you to really listen to me tonight. Are you okay? Are you okay? You need water. You can take water, take water. Take water. Take water, take water so that you calm me down. Because this thing that I'm teaching tonight, you need it before we pray. My father's driver did not have any epilepsy or whatever. We got to their village, we slept over the night. After the marriage was being the traditional. It was only when I got there it was only when I got there, eh? it was only when I got there that I discovered they were saying, oh, the God of this village. I thought we were all Christian because these people were saying Jesus' name, Jesus' name. But when they began to, hey, the God of the, the ah, the God of, I said, ah. I was hearing, I said, am I hearing correctly? Because I know that the whole village does not have God except Jesus Christ apart <laughs> So, they were doing not, but in the middle of the night, in the middle of the night, I was praying in tongues. I was always used to praying in tongues, sumptuously. I was praying in the tongues for most of the night. I've been used to that habit. If you have been given the Holy Ghost baptism by God and you pray in tongues, please do it several hours a day. The devil does not have answer to that thing. From my sleep, I felt a hand over my body. The hand moved me at my back. I was thinking, who is this? So I stood up. Who is this? Who is touching me? I stood up to go out, to go and we. And I came back and I slept. I have not slept for more than maybe 10, 20 minutes. My father's driver stood up because we slept in the same room. Stood up to go and we. He fell down. Then he began to foam from the mouth. Everybody stood up. What happened? He has become epileptic. He couldn't drive us back to Ileve, which is about maybe three hours or four hours from Delta. And we were asking him, what happened to you? He said, I don't know. Have you ever been epileptic before? He said, never. That was what they shot at me. A hand touched me. You know I don't tell her. You know I can get angry. You know what I'm what the devil can tell me with it. But you know I don't tell lies. You know I don't. All of you know I don't tell lies. You know I don't tell lies. You know I don't say what I don't see. You know I'm not looking for anything from anybody. You know I don't collect money from you. I don't say come and give offering to me. You, there is no reason for me to tell lies. And you know I really want to make heaven. And as I'm talking, Jesus can come. Oh, I know the joke. <laughs> anything you hear from here is straight. The hand touched me. Boop, 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 boop. I said, what is that? I went to we outside. There is no toilet. It's outside. My father's driver stood up a few minutes after. Fed down. Epileptic. That's how he caught his home. He couldn't drive us back. Now, the mother came to my house because I told the... That's why you have to calculate your moves. 
Calculate your moves. Please calculate your moves. Don't just say, eh, this thing is not good. It must be done this way. Mm -mm. I was the one who went to the mother's shop to go and bring her. I said, no, this is your daughter. You have to be part of it. Forget about the family. It was the father's younger sister that was taking me everywhere and said that the mother has no lot in this. But me, I went to bring the mother. I said, come and be involved. One day she came to my house and I used to give her money. She came to my house and sat down and said, uh, all my children are represented by snake. I was born by a man who worship rivers spirit. Snake is our God. She was, me, I used to laugh a lot because all of this thing that I'm telling you now, I didn't believe it that time. I was too worded. I was of the faith stream. As a matter of fact, until deliverance began to happen in my hand, and I don't look for deliverance, that I believe that people are, did actually have demons. I believe that once you have Jesus Christ, you don't have any demon, you don't have anything. I don't believe that jack anymore. Because I've been canceling people inside my office. Canceling people. And I cancel a couple. Cancel them to a point. And I say, but I think demons are involved in this thing. I just stood up. He was saying, mm, leave me alone. Have you come to trouble us? The wife, the husband began to shake. Hey, hey, is this who I'm married to? I said, don't worry, don't worry. You'll be okay. Say, is this who I'm married? And began to talk about how she has spirit from the river, from one ocean in, in Ghana and all of those forever. I was not looking for deliverance. I was just doing counseling session. And I, that has happened to me a number of times in my life. If you pray very well, the spirit of the Lord will begin to manifest in your life. So I was just laughing as he was saying, he said, so when my daughter died, I will take her to the village. He didn't say they will, she will, they will take her to the village. He said, I will take her to the village. I am telling you what I had. I was laughing. <laughs> you know I love it. <laughs> I said, you can joke about so many. Say, say, because I have their effigies. You know effigies is like the drawing or the image of a person that can be made through wood or whatever. To say, this is this person. Say, I have all the effigies of my children in in the shrine, in the shrine in my village. He said, when she dies, I'm the one to take her to the village. Not known to me, the day we were getting married, a prophet friend of mine saw something but did not tell me. He was even my best man. He said, I, I saw a vision. I saw they were telling her to go and bring you. That it must not take many months before she brings you to them. He says he saw them. They were doing meetings. On the day of our wedding, I said, but Yinka is the name. I said, but why didn't you tell me? He said, David, you won't listen to anybody. You didn't even believe in all of those things. Because I told people point blank, me, I can marry with bring her. <laughs> Faith was too much. Power flow was too much. It's not that I'm just under God. So now, are you listening? Now, few months into our wedding of blessed memory, she was sleeping in the room and just told me, I had a, I, I had, I just had the revelation. I was the revelation. He said, a big fish, like big dolphin, came out of the ground there and said, I have come to take you. If that is not enough, let me, let me, let me, try, let me, let me uh, make you afraid further. In the middle of the night, I was sleeping. She was sleeping beside me. A man came through my window physically. I've, I've encountered some few things. A man came through my window physically and said, I am the father of so, 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 and so, spiritually, and I've come to take her. I began to battle with this man. Get out! In the name of, and get out. then I woke up and I said, this is what I saw, but don't worry. I slept. When I was waking up, she told me I have had the same revelation. She was not a witch. She was just networked. There are two kinds of witches. There are those who are witches, Straight, there are those who are networked. And the number of those who are networked or not, is more, that number is higher than the number of those who are true witches who know themselves as witches. Both the hidden one and the one that. There are witches that can beat. They were doing a... You, you stand up. Don't let us mess up ourselves. You know? You can stand up at the back. The end. You understand? Early this year in Congo, they were doing witchcraft meeting in a particular place and they were physically flying. I watched it. 
It's not machine. If it is Europe, they will have put machine somewhere. You see all these things they do on the street, uh, Moss Street and whatever, that somebody will be suspended. In Europe, I cannot believe it. There must be machine somewhere or whatever. <laughs> but in Africa, I've seen somebody who using something like this. You see this? Can you see this little, uh, is it train they call it or wire? Huh? Yeah. I've seen somebody, they tie it across from like air to ear. It was like in Bini. And this man was walking on it. I saw it with my eyes. It's not go come. This small train, this like this wire. This wire. Even if something is even like this, you can't walk on it. From almost half a kilometer. And everybody stayed there. It's not that they go. They didn't go anywhere. They were watching him. And he walked on it with leg like this. Across and came down from the pole. So there are those who are physical witches, there are those who are networked. And some of those who are networked are in the church. I was doing deliverance for a particular lady many years ago. That's the lady that said that every year she must be in the sea for 14 days and the husband will not know where she is. And I actually followed her to the house because he was a member of her church. Uh, uh, and she said, Pastor, I can even see some people in your church. They don't know what is happening to them, but, but I see chains on their legs. He said, when I go to churches like that, I see them. He said, some of them, some people, we communicate with eyes. We see ourselves. He said, but this thing is a very serious thing that I'm telling you this night, and I want you to really pray. All right? Don't start saying I'm a witch. No. You could be under some network to be able to control, curtail, and confront the plan of God over your life to manipulate. Um, so, uh, this girl, we, we, I was praying for her, and she said, there are more than one million demons around here right now, pastor. I said, what did they come to do? He said, they follow me from the sea. What they want me to do is to kill my husband. I said, how? To make him be going by a wall, and a wall will fall over him. And it will be like a natural occurrence, but he's gone. And I said, I can't do it. That's why I come to you. I need deliverance and all of those forever. And she was the one who told me that the only places we don't go, when prayer is very hot in any place, whether home or school or anywhere, he said it's very hard for us to go. He said one day, he and one witch went to a meeting. And prayer was so much, he said, his friend had to go out to go and smoke outside <laughs> to step down from the whatever. Now, let us now go out of the... the the, uh, the mystical part of it. Let's come to basic one. Alright? And uh, in chapter 18 of First King, somewhere there, Obadiah was talking to Elijah and he said, Obadiah was talking to Elijah when Elijah suddenly showed up and he said, Man of God, that at a time when Jezebel killed God's prophet, I had to hide. Let me see whether it's uh, which verse is it. I had to hide. Um, 13, okay. Was he not told? My Lord, what I did when Jezebel slew the prophet of the Lord and I hid an hundred men of the lost prophet by fifty in the cave and fed them with bread and water. Jezebel is a typical example of a, a witch in the Bible. In that chapter 18, he killed God's prophet. In chapter 19, he confronted, she confronted Elijah. By this time tomorrow, if your life is not like the life of all these bad prophets that you, that you have killed, let the gods, he didn't say let God, he said let the God do unto her more so. Are you listening? They, they want to stifle, they want to kill, they want to mutilate, they want to take captive of God's program for people. They, that is the whole aim of witchcraft. witchcraft. And he, and he uses mostly, the reason why it is stubborn is that he uses familiar spirit. He uses things that are common to us. He uses things that we are well accustomed to. 
So you see, one of the things, like in this sophisticated age and time, one of the things they use, you know, you know that there's a witchcraft. Okay, my wife and I, this is physical, this is here in Galway. My wife and I went somewhere, but we know that something could go amiss. A particular Christmas to go and eat. But we know what this person can do. For more than three months, we could not pray. We could, it was very hard for us to pray. So hard. Until I met with a particular pastor in Dublin. And he said, and he didn't know what I was going to pray. He said, you know sometimes somebody can go and eat in some people's place. And then for months you will not pray. You will not know that you have eaten witchcraft. It can be eaten in food. It can be eaten, eaten in cloth. It can be eaten in a, a lot of music that you watch. That you listen to. That is not of God. That is not holy. They have chanted things on top of them. That's why you don't seem to be able to separate yourself from them. But what you will discover, this is the discovery you will make. What you will discover if witchcraft network is over your life. You will discover you dwell more in the works of the flesh than in spiritual matters. And you will discover that the more you dwell in the flesh, the more you like the things of the flesh. More than you like the things of the spirit. It takes high level of spiritual footage for you to have many activities that belong to God and you are never tired and you are never angry and you are never sorrowful. David said, seven times do I go to your to your house to praise you, O God. A day, that was a king that was in charge of administration. Normally, children of Israel will pray three times. So, ten times he went to the house of God and he said, I was glad when they told me, let us go to the house of the Lord. You want to study Bible, you stand yearning. You pray for five minutes, you have slept off. I'm not this time around, I'm not talking about sleeping off of posture. Like one day, uh, prayer was going on, the, the night prayer. And I was dozing off because I lie down. And when the prayer was over, my wife said, we must bind the spirit of slumbering. I said, let us use the, our anointing for something else. I said, there is no spirit of slumbering. I lie down. If I, anytime I lie down, because I've used my body all day, anytime I lie down, I sleep. <laughs> I said, I'm going to sleep. I said, so how you will know if there is a trouble is that if I stand up, I'm still slumbering. That's a problem. Because there are some people who can sleep off. They're whatever. Go and read in Galatians chapter 5 about the works of the flesh. You will see that one of it is witchcraft. It talks about uncleanness. It talks, and it talks about witchcraft. It's actually like a work of the flesh. And it's in the same group with all of these. So if you see any of these things manifesting in your life and your spiritual life is going down, there's a witchcraft network around your life. Arume, a prayer giant from Africa, said it took him 12 hours to be able to have a little breakthrough in the spirit while praying in London. And he said he discovered, based on resistance to the move and the power of God, that the level of witchcraft in, Europe, in, in, in England is, is thicker than most cities in Africa. Even though in Africa, you see them coming, a lot of people that even come and don't know what I do. But there is really witchcraft. I've been reading some books and there is really, really witchcraft in Europe without, they, they have places where they lock people's destiny and they create a space for it. Don't you see the way they guard anything that has to do with God? God prophet, uh, somebody cast out demon from a girl the other day in, in Sweden. Bishop Waleoke's wife, when he came to us in 2016, that he's just coming from Sweden. The man, a man, brought his daughter that a demon is disturbing his daughter. Help me pray. And the man of God prayed and demon came out of the daughter. And then, half in the school, the girl told their, their teacher and everybody, this guy was in jail for three and a half years. The father of the daughter also was in jail for casting out demons. Just like what you see in the book of Acts, chapter 16. When when Paul finished casting out a demon from a sorcerer, that they took a hold of him and beat him blue black. 
When you see unreasonable, everybody get tempted sexually. But when you see unreasonable level of sexual temptation, that is a witchcraft. Everybody from time to time, their mouth, their tongue sleeps. That could be some little lie and you don't even know how it does. But when there are conk men, well crafted out lies upon lies almost on daily basis. That is a spirit of lie. That is a witchcraft activity somewhere. When you just sleep and sleep and you can't have enough of sleep. And even when you wake up, you even still feel tired. That is a witchcraft activity somewhere. When your span, your listening span, your attention span for the things of God is so short. Compare, you know, the church service is going on. It's not everybody that this happened to. You can be preaching seven hours. This is the way I will open my mouth listening to you. I have on un, Canning's capacity to take God's word. As soon as the word of God is taught to a point, after some time you have just even switched off. Your, 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 the lifespan of, of your attention for the things of God is so short. And you would rather like to sit down somewhere watching movies than to be in any movie that has to do with God. If they say, let us go and eat ice cream, you, you, as a matter of fact, you are salivating. You want to go there. Even if they stay there seven hours. If they say, can we pray for 30 minutes? They say, no, don't let this turn you to church. And you begin to talk about church things as religious activities. It's not you. It's a witchcraft activity. It's a witchcraft network. It's not you. It's not you. As a matter of fact, Jesus began to talk in chapter 22 of the book of Matthew, verse 28 down to 30. He said, don't let your heart be overcharged with sobriety and drunkenness. Lest the date catches you on a wheels. You know, one of the ways through witchcraft, you remember... Uh, uh, Revelation chapter number 2 about that Jezebel that was giving them food sacrifice to idols. Food. Drink. Activities. That engender more flesh and more flesh and more flesh and more flesh and more flesh. Are you listening to that? Because what the devil will want to do is that he will want to cool you down and cool you down and cool you down and cool you down. Then eventually we just strike boom, with something. Something irreversible. Something ir he will strike you with something irreversible. Some people have finished striking their wife or finished striking their husband before they now. But what happened to me? Proud to this. I just discovered I couldn't really pray. I was not paying more attention to spiritual things. Oh my goodness. Wife is gone. Or paralysis. Or something. If you experience awful sleep paralysis, that's a witchcraft network over your life. Unreasonable level of addiction to drug, marijuana, it's a witchcraft activities. Network, demonic network. They're the one who cause all those things. Because they know that with all those things, one of the things that witchcraft likes to accomplish is through things that are familiar with you to cause you to stay out of line with God so that you can be in sync with Satan. Are you listening? They just want to put you out of line. Just put you off line. Just put you out of alignment. Because they don't have any power on their own, but if they bring you out of alignment with God, you will be in, in sync. You will synchronize with Satan and Satan, satanic activities. And it, it will be so surprising to you to know, I read many books when I got, first got born again, many medical places, both white and black, everywhere, as they have witchcraft activities going on that you've just got to be careful. Sometimes they are so bold in the United States of America that they come up with a lot of things. They just make toy and put blood inside. And you'll be wondering where did the blood come inside blood. And they're very blood. And they're not withdrawing it from market. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you hearing what I'm saying? So, so many of the things like that. And I want us to really pray tonight. I'm going to lead us in the first set of prayers to pray. If you feel that some of these things are around your life. Unreasonable level of violence and, and, and fight and anger and sadness. To do the things of God is like they are forcing your legs 
If they not just immediately just say that, uh, no, they say there is no Bible study today, let's go and play football. You just suddenly become happy. There are some of us that when the things of God are not going on, we're just sad. That the only time we are glad, I was glad when they told me let us go to the house of the... The only time when we are glad, you know, you know, I'm, 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 I'm more glad in fasting and prayer than when I'm eating. When I'm eating, a lot of the time I just feel as if, am I not eating my destiny off? And all of a sudden I start fasting. My, my joy just gets restored. But as some people, they gorge on food. It's only in food that they are happy. And Jesus said one of the ways through which the devil will catch the people is so fighting and drunkenness. So fighting is gorging on food as if you are doing party when there is food. People eat for strength, not for pleasure. He said one to you, king, when you when you're say a land, when your king is a child and they eat in the morning, they eat for pleasure, not for strength. Because kings should normally eat for strength, not for pleasure. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Are you listening to what I'm saying? That's the reason why you see, you go to some of these Chinese shops. Before you buy some of the food they have there, you see that they have dedicated most of those things to Buddha. And some of you who like a um, reasonable level of different kind of attachment from different places. You understand what I'm saying? There are some that come from places like India, where they are first of all dedicated the here they are making to the gods. All of us can watch it. They have dedicated them to gods before you now use them. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this different kind of things that the devil uses, every familiar, every familiar thing that the devil uses. One day, a man of God wanted to take his toothbrush. Please take this thing that I'm saying very seriously. This is not the kind of messages you hear in Europe. Because everybody's mouth has been gouged. Everything has been controlled. You understand? The only thing that is not controlled is different kind of jobs, including the one that take you away on Sundays. And you don't even have, not have time. You're so tired every time during the week. On Sunday, they are still taking you away. And you don't even have time to care about your God. Let alone even care about your head. Or care about your career. One day, Pastor Deboye was here. And he was asking for the first time. He was asking the dream pastors, how many people don't want to be a pastor anymore and you want to resign? They say, almost everybody in the auditorium in Dublin lifted up their hands. Ah. He said, why? In Nigeria, everybody will want to be a pastor. They said, well, they don't want to be pastors anymore. He now began to ask them, they said, we don't know what happens in this land. Everybody is caught small. It's like there is a ceiling in the atmosphere that no matter who you are, it has a way of putting you in a size and make you small. But what they do not know, what a lot of them do not know, most of them who raise their hands. Sunday work is poor. As a matter of fact, some of them stagger to the puppy. There was one pastor of Redeem that they, that they have to uh, 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 sack. He's my friend in Dublin. They say he will stagger to the church on Sunday because he drives taxi and the greatest time of taxi driving is Saturday night. Till the Sunday morning. So he would drive up until the time he would not enter the church, he would not be staggering like this. He had one of the foremost churches in Dublin, but he had to close down and move out. And they said when they even move him to the headquarters, that in the church on Sunday he will be sleeping. A whole pastor, five brand man of God, is witchcraft attack over, and he does not know. Because people don't check themselves on time. Because more money, almost triple on Sunday. Almost triple money on Sunday. But they are taking your life away from you. They are taking everything away from you. Are you listening to what I'm saying? And you need a, a man of God who, 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 who bought a toothbrush and wanted to start cleaning his mouth. And as, but he, he was in the habit of blessing things before he uses them. As he began to bless and I said, God bless the toothbrush. He just saw with his own eyes that it didn't turn to human air. I have seen my home before. I was younger. I was younger. I was a teenager. Maybe around age 16. I went with my friend of blessed memory now who died in an accident and to buy him buy fried plantain in a food canteen. And as they gave me the fried plantain and I took it to go and sit down, I was not even blessing it. God just wanted to save me. I just saw a network of wire on the plantain. I cleaned my face again. I still saw it. I took it back to the owner.
They have actually caught a number of people who were using water from the mortuary, you know, to, to cook for people. And people will be trooping down because the food will just be extremely sweeter than other food as well. And this guy is selling in such a way that it's my sally. What he's selling for 300, some other people sell it for 50. But yet there is more people. What about church? They just start carrying rumors and put network of rumors. When witchcraft want to disrupt the church or destroy the church, things that are not normal to wear down everybody's power and wear down their courage until everybody began to move and they turn in and the devil come to the man of God. If that man of God does not stop, you, some of you I think have uh, played it in this church before where Pastor Chris was talking about a pastor who was praying in the church. Have you watched it? The pastor was praying in the church. All of a sudden, he just began to hear some strange sound behind him. He began to pray more than the person who was making the strange sound just came out. He was a human being with the head of, of a pig and said, I'm the one who has been networking most of the church members to make them cold, to make them like a desica. I think we should look for it to make them like a desica. I say, I'm the, and then the man of God now pray and bind it and cast it out. All of a sudden, there was fire. When you see that your fire goes down, there's a witchcraft network around your life. When you see that you have more interest in the things of this life, in the things of this world, than in the things of God, there is a witchcraft activity around your life. There are some of us that when a fasting finishes, we are looking forward for when we will start another one because of the so much gains that have been gotten in that fasting that you want to have more gain. Pastor Debo said, I'm always angry when my fasting is finishing. It's a level. It's a level. Are you listening to me? Now, I won't waste much of our time. We have just one hour, 15 minutes to pray. I cannot totally dissect. I don't know whether some other day I will go into this or whether I will continue it. But I want, you just discover that you take steps towards success. You are about being successful. Something cut it off again. Because they will have planted so many things. Something God cut it off. Every testimony turns to disappointment. Testimony turns to disappointment. I had in my spirit that something was wrong with the way Ansa just fell with his brother and the teeth just became whatever. I, I, will wake, I will wake up in the middle of the night, I will see the teeth. I'll be angry with my soul. I'll be angry with my destiny. But we were praying. And you know, but one of the major prayers I was praying, every power, every spirit that is behind causing this kind of a thing to be. I bind you, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Go and look at Ansa's teeth. Ansa's teeth have started revamping. Gum just began to grow and feed the things up. Go and check Ansa's teeth. <laughs> in our own eyes, they told me that when it is 15, we will use braces. We were even, my wife was even contacting specialists. They, were, they said they are feed up, they can't take us. It was not bent like this and like this. Go and check it out. He began to move on his own. I saw him one day. I did not, I, I don't want to give false testimony. My wife now called me a few days ago and said, do you see that the teeth are lining? The protruded one is going inside by itself. <laughs> my brother, <laughs> my sister, <laughs> stand up in prayers. <laughs> Everything is utterable. There are some things the witchcraft just, just, just deliberately inflict it on you to make you angry. When I will look at answer like this, I will be so filled with anger. In my heart, I will say, maybe we should give him up for themselves. <laughs> they say, I can't stand this thing. Go and see. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Huh? Are you listening to what I'm saying? Huh? Are you listening to what I'm saying? I want you to really pray this night. I want you to really pray. When you pray this kind of prayer, your life will not depend on anybody to make progress. Many things that are cutting us short, there's such witchcraft attack. I don't have 
enough time to tell you how it works. But I've told you that it works through familiar spirit. The most basic root of it is bloodline. You didn't hear what I said. The most basic root of it is bloodline. The next thing eh, is where you had your educational facilities. All the kind of children they bring around you. Say now about that experience. Where they went to where they were giving children food. And a spirit just told her, don't take food from this woman. Say now, this is enough here. Don't take food from this woman. And the woman was giving all the children food. Just imagine. That same woman would have given her own children food to take to school. And you had part of the food. I will give you an example. And in the middle of the night, this woman now began to come to Senap in dark cloth, asking Senap to come to her. And Senap was rejected. She would have been a witch. My first prayer partner, many years ago, said, in the school, I ate colored rice with my friend. From that night, I eat colored rice in the dream every day. And when I wake up, it will be tasting in my lips. Do they come to church? Yes, they come to church. Do they, do they become part of the choir? Yes, they become part of the choir. Do they join prayer meeting? Yes, they join prayer meeting. Do they join Bible school? Yes, they join Bible school. A girl will have married in Bishop Waleke's church. He's a full-fledged prostitute in Abuja now. She was half Nigerian, half somewhere else. But she was born by full Nigerians. But she was like mixed race. The first day I prayed about her, I wanted to, I saw that she was in one darkness and I was trying to pull her out. The following time I would pray about her, I met myself in the midst of red ocean. Where ocean was dry, one ocean would slap me from here, one part of the ocean. Slap me, I, slap, I was dying. All of a sudden a little rock came out of the ocean and I stood in the midst of it and I woke up. I was sick for days. Physical sickness. I won't tell you the last one that I saw that made me wrong because I was still stubborn. I said, I, I will conquer this spirit. <laughs> I'll conquer this spirit. Like some people that say, I will marry him. I will change him. Don't worry. Is he not him, John? I will change him. Only to discover that you cannot even change yourself. To change, to undo Ansa and Ebenezer from sucking tongue because they were not sucking tongue in the house. They just came back from school and started sucking tongue. I sit up in the night to pray. Because they, somebody can be 18 years old and I've seen them before. I've seen them before. Prayed. Prayed. And did something little. <laughs> In the last few days we have not seen it. <laughs> we have not, don't take anything for granted. It's going to link up with something else. That's how they will come back with people who are smoking cigarettes. They say, I just try it, mommy. I don't seem to be able to stop it. <laughs> we don't deal with this one now. So many of you became drug addict from the school. That's why you see the high concentration of witchcraft activities around Baliban. To the point where if you, if you want to take, this one wanted to take uh, insurance in Baliban. They gave him 250 or 255. Isn't it? 285. Now you are paying 130 because your address changed. <laughs> As a matter of fact, if, they, if anybody calls out for crime activity in Balibar, police don't come straight. And if they are coming, it's about three or four cars. And they are saying, wah, 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 wah. But if it's other places, they just come. Only two of them can even walk with legs. But if it is Balibar, and the people over there don't even know what is happening to them themselves. That, you know, witchcraft activity just continues like that. I want us to stand up and pray. I, I don't want the, today to just be full of talk. I've talked for almost one hour now. I, don't want, I just want us to pray. I just want you to be okay. I just want you to move forward. I just want the church to be okay. I just want the church to, be, to move forward. In the name of the Lord Jesus.